Hey everyone, it's me, Dr. Whimsy, and today we're talking about how to rev up your metabolism, get, get it up and moving. If you are feeling like your metabolism is slowing down, rest assured this is a natural process that can happen as we age, and the good news is that there are great things we can do to improve our health and to keep our metabolism up and running as we get older. One of the things we like to do uh, when we start to see patients for the first time is we like to do some testing, particularly in people who are over the age of 40. We do a lot of hormone testing and we also will check thyroid just to see a baseline, just to get a rough idea of what's going on hormonally with a patient. Now the thyroid is really the most superficial gland that we have. It's so superficial that you can literally touch it. And that is actually something we do in the office. We're looking to find out if there are any nodules or anything that might be going on that might indicate a thyroid disease. Then of course we also order hormone testing and thyroid testing to find out if thyroid function is optimal. As we get older, tissue doesn't necessarily produce the same amount of hormones that it did when we were younger. Thyroid function may begin to decline and sex hormones may begin to decline and that can have an impact on our metabolism. So in addition to the fact that we're not producing the same amount of hormones that we did when we were younger, we also can lose sensitivity. Our tissue may actually be less sensitive to hormones than it was when we were younger. So you come in, you get your uh, intake done, we do a physical exam, we'll order uh, hormone testing. Uh, so usually I like to do the 24 hour saliva test. That comes in a packet like this. Uh, this is put out by Labrix. Uh, Doctors Data has now uh, joined with Labrix and we do a saliva test. It's a 24 hour cortisol test that lets us know what your cortisol is doing, but we also test DHEA, which is a precursor sex hormone, estrogen levels, testosterone levels, and then we compound hormones based on the unique needs of the individual. So that's a great start if you're trying to find out what's going on with metabolism is to first get a baseline. Find out what's going on in the person's body so that we can begin to correct the problem. So after we've done that, we talk to people about other things that have been helpful for weight loss and keeping the metabolism going, starting with intermittent fasting. Believe it or not, our body does have a 24-hour cycle of when it processes uh, and digests food. Uh, there's an optimal time to eat and there's an, there's an optimal time to fast. And so for that reason, we usually talk to people about intermittent fasting, trying not to eat after a particular uh, time of day. For example, if your last meal was at 6 a.m. we might, or 6 p.m., we would tell you to do a 13 hour fast and begin uh, your uh, next meal to break that fast at around seven in the morning. That way you're getting that 13 minute fast time at the time in a, a body's cycle when we really want to be decreasing consumption of food. The circadian rhythm in terms of the best time to digest food is usually between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. But you have to understand that we've got 19 feet of digestive tract. So if you finished your last meal at five o'clock, you're still assimilating it uh, two, three hours after that. And so that's why we give people a, a, a window of uh, stopping around 6 p.m. so that you can continue to process the food a couple hours after that. But uh, in addition to intermittent fasting, there are some great supplements we recommend. I usually do like to have a person on a good multivitamin or at the very least a B complex to help with adrenal fatigue and exhaustion. Hormone replacement is sometimes an option, whether it's having compounded thyroid hormones uh, created that are unique to the uh, needs of, of uh, their thyroid. Everybody's thyroid is different. Everybody's th uh, thyroid supplementation, if they have to have a thyroid uh, supplement, is also unique. And that's why I prefer to have it individually compounded. And the same goes for things like uh, hormones, topical creams like progesterone and estrogen, uh, testosterone, 
or even some of the precursor hormones like DHEA, you really want to get a, a, what the person's levels are beforehand rather than shooting in the dark and hoping you're going to get it right. All right, so that's just a little bit of what we do here uh, to uh, rev up metabolism. And if you'd like to find out more about what I do and about staying healthy from 40, 50, 60 and beyond, you can check out at drwimsy.com. And I also see patients uh, virtually if you're not able to make it to our offices here in Los Angeles. We do do telemedicine and that information I will also link below. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.